what's going on everybody thank you for tuning in to the channel again so in this video i'm going to be doing i'm going to give you the pros and the cons and um on the vac master three and one shampoo machine so if there's a video that you want me to make i'm saying it now so if there's a video you want me to make let me know i do not mind making the video um if it's on a certain um equipment that i have or something um anything so somebody they wanted a video on the vac master an update video i've been having it i don't know i'm gonna put it on the screen how long i've been having it i've been having it for a while and honestly i love it so we're gonna what i'm doing today is going to a dealership to do the seats on a vehicle so normally i don't do dealerships because a lot of them don't want to pay the price that you that you um give them they want to pay like cheap prices just to do the seats like one dealership only wanted to pay about 25 dollars um but this one i charge i charge 75 to like 125 sometimes more than that just to do if, it, if somebody wants to do just the seats um and this dealership that's what i charge them depending on the condition the minimum is 75 and then if it's really really bad it, is, it can go over 125 honestly so they don't have a problem with it they pay it all i do is the seats a quick little job usually takes me an hour hour and a half so and the first thing first i'm gonna let y'all know the chemicals that i use i'm gonna put it up on the screen but it's the it's it's a powder it's the flex flex ice or something so i have this right here is the extraction to put inside the uh, machine and then i have a pre-spray and a pump sprayer so i make five gallons of the one that goes inside the uh shampoo machine and then two gallons of the of the pre-spray yeah, so, yeah so the the audio was messed up on this next clip i think i may have had my hand on the uh, microphone or something but what i'm showing you right now is some glitter glue literally um it's some glitter glue i did not record the process of removing the glue but all i can tell you that it took forever to remove that glue and i had and glitter was all over the place um the glue was there on the ground well on the floor and it had a little bit on the door panel so what i'm doing is moving to the front showing y'all the driver's side um had a little bit of stuff on the side the driver's side honestly was not that bad the passenger side was the worst seat inside the car um it had a lot of brown as you can see some of the brown spots and stuff um on the passenger side but i don't know it's just it's crazy because I you would think the driver's side is the one that would have been messed up, but it was the total opposite this time. Um, and now I'm just showing y'all the glue again, and just to, really I was talking about the glue and everything, and just how hard it's gonna be to get it out. So the so the first thing I did was spray. I sprayed that area down, agitated it, then I came back with the steamer, and slowly but surely, eventually I got the glue out. So. Uh, it may take a while, but it's possible to get it out. Now, for stuff like this, sometimes it may leave like an imprint or it may leave um, stuff behind that you just can't get out of the seat. Yeah, see So I'm gonna go with this, with my um, drill attachment. I'm just gonna try to get some more dirt off of the seat. Try to get it as much as I can before I start doing the um, actual agitating and all that stuff. And then I'm also, let, like I said, I'm letting my steamer warm up. Uh, now, if you're gonna use one of these, you have to be careful with one of these because you can you can mess some stuff up. This because this is powerful. It's one of those impact screwdrivers, I guess. I don't. I forgot what it's called, but you got to be careful. So. All right, so what I'm showing y'all is the five gallon uh, extraction rinse that I make. I put it on the shelf. I put a hose around it with a clamp and everything so I can fill it up outside of the van. Um, eventually, I'm gonna put a hose going towards the back of the van. But the Vac Master holds one gallon of solution, which honestly, it comes in handy. It really does uh, compared to the other little small machines where you gotta keep dumping and refilling all the time. You don't have to refill as often with the Vac Master.
simple setup. All right, majority of the glue is gone. Is gone. Got most of it off with the steamer. Took some time though. Um, I just got to blow this off one more time. So I'm gonna turn the steamer off. Turn my compressor back on. Blow this off one more time. Um, let me say this. You do stuff how you how, however it works for you. I don't feel like there's a process to do anything because you could do the same thing a hundred different ways. I've learned that. You'll learn that with detailing. So people will tell you, hey, do it this way, do it that way. Oh no, you're not supposed to do this. Next year, sometimes it honestly really don't matter. You could get the same results with cheap products, with cheap chemicals, or with the expensive chemicals. All right, so like I said, that is the pre-spray. You spray this on your seats and carpet, agitate it, and then you come back and wipe it down. Uh, not wipe it down, you come back and you extract it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now that I'm finished steaming, I'll go ahead and start the extraction. So, dang, that was a little, camera was a little dirty, but it's all right. Now that I'm finished steaming, I'll go ahead and start the extraction process for the back seats. And then the steamer thing is pretty hot, honestly, throughout the whole detail. So I could turn it off and it'll still be good and it'll still have pressure. All right, so the remote, so everything is on here so you can turn on the, the water there we go i'm gonna turn it off and then turn on the vacuum part of things simple So we, I got one seat left. We had three fourths of a gallon. I was gonna refill it, but we good. We're gonna last the whole thing. So, we just got, to, I already did the driver's side seat. I just got the passenger seat and I want to record this one because this one is gonna be the one that pulled, this one's gonna be, this one was the dirtiest one out of all the seats. So I'm about to go ahead and start extracting this one. So I'm finished with the extraction part of things. Um, to disassemble it, it's super easy. So this is for the water. Take that out. Now that's unplugged. Unscrew this. And that's pretty much it. Um, I roll this up. I put this little zip, the silicone zip tie on it. And then I hang it up in the van. But that's pretty much it. And then this, you can just roll whatever you want to do with it. Like me, I just roll it towards the van. Have it sitting there. And then that, roll up, put it back on top of um, all my hoses and stuff at, at the top. The last and final step to this is I vacuum it. So, uh, vacuum the seats and that's pretty much it. I went ahead and hit these. I mean, they didn't ask me to, but they looked it pretty nasty. So I hit them anyway. Um, but yeah, I got my vacuum on a remote as I showed y'all before, so. Vacuum up whatever I can get. And then wrap it up. Alright, so remember, this is just seats only. So. I don't know why I'm showing that, but seats look 10 times better than what they were before. Got the glue off. There's still a little bit of what, like a little bit of film on there, but 
it's better than what it was before stuff like that is like super hard to get off so driver's side and the passenger side was the worst seat That car came out pretty good, so let's go ahead and start with the uh, pros and cons of this machine. So let's start, I guess we'll start with the cons, because that's what most of y'all are here for. Y'all want to hear the bad before y'all hear the good. So the OGs are here the good, the people who are here for the bad, I give y'all what you want so y'all can hear the bad. So I made a list of the pros and cons on my phone, and we'll start with that. So one of the cons is... Um, for me, is the hose sometimes. The, the actual hose sometimes can get a little annoying. And then sometimes it can be stiff because it has to swivel around um, when you at certain positions. So you have to kind of, sometimes you got to play around with it. It does it, it just gets annoying sometimes. Um, on my vac master, I don't know about anybody else, but it tends to leak. Like the vacuum is not like sealed. So around like right here, I think, or around here, no matter what I do, no matter if I try to make sure it's on there right, I tighten or whatever, it tends to leak air. Like I can feel the air pulling. Depends on how I hold it. If I'm in a certain position, um, you don't hear it anymore, but that's one of the cons on it. Um, sometimes the water mess up. So I have, a, I think I have a video of that. So the water is supposed to shoot like a stream, basically straight down. But then sometimes it's like this little, um, the little nozzle is clogged sometimes. I don't know. I tried taking a knife and trying to clean it out and I use soft water. So I don't, I don't understand why it does that, but sometimes it'll be shooting like three different directions. So it'll be shooting here, here, and here. Sometimes it's a full stream that's coming out and it just depends. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. So that's in part. So that's another thing that I don't like is this part right here is not as flexible and not even just this part, like this whole, from here to here, it's just too big and too bulky. It's too big and bulky and it's not flexible. It gets on my nerves sometimes because I, I have just another issue with it. You have to learn how to like maneuver it, right? Because if it was just on this part and you would spray, you'd be able to get more stuff. But being that you have this big old thing right here where it has the handle and all that, it just sometimes, it gets kind of annoying. Um, on my vac, on my vac master, my filter keeps falling off. So, and I bet it fell off again. So that's another annoying issue. Yeah, see, y'all can see the filters in there at the bottom. The filter fa uh, keeps falling off. No matter what I do, I put it on and the filters falls off all the time. Um, it's just like a piece of, I don't know if it's styrofoam or whatever, but it's just, it's just like a little thin piece of material that goes around the actual, uh, that goes around the top portion of the vacuum, but it, mine's always fall off. I clean it, clean it, clean it, put it on there. I thought about zip tying it on there. Um, another thing is the remote. So this is the remote right here and it's battery powered. So you do have to change the battery. Um, I haven't had to yet. Sometimes the remote doesn't respond fast enough or it does not respond at all. So if I'm trying to turn the water off, sometimes the water doesn't turn off. And then sometimes it, and when you do turn it off, it still shoots out a stream for a couple of seconds and then it's completely off. So that could be annoying. Another con is that it doesn't have a trigger. Like I said, everything is on this remote, the, the suction and the water. Instead of being able to pull the trigger as you pull it back, um, and that way when you position yourself to go up here again to start over, you're not wasting as much water. You can't, you could do that, but then, like I said, the water takes a little while to kick, to click off. So, um, you, you tend to, you tend to waste more water than you tend to waste whatever you're using. I use, um, some chemicals, so I tend to waste a little bit more than normal. Uh, the wheels don't lock. That's another annoying thing. So you have wheels on here. They come in handy, especially if you're moving around, you don't have to keep picking it up. You can push it. But I really wish they locked that way when I was on, if I'm on like a curved surface or not a curved surface, that way if I'm on like a, if I'm, that way if I'm working on a slope, 
I can lock the wheels and not worry about this thing sliding back or, or whatever. So whenever I'm on a curved surface, I find, whenever I'm on a slope, I find a crack and I basically put the wheel in the crack and I, and that's how I work with the machine facing sideways. Another con is the, I don't like where they put the drain. So right here is the drain to, uh, to drain out the dirty water. Now, if you didn't suction up that much, you still got a good bit at the bottom that won't go through the drain. So you have to tilt it some to get all that dirty water out. And another thing I really don't like is that you have to unscrew it. I wish they would have made it to where you could open and close it. Cause if this thing is full to here, as soon as I start opening it, it starts leaking out. And then I start getting, I gotta I open it as fast as I can so I don't get no stuff on my hand. And this part right here for the water, this part tends to, like for me, it tends to come off sometimes, like randomly it comes off. And then now I got water like just squirting all over the place. Um, this part right here will come off sometimes because you can detach it <clears throat> so you can detach this from the actual attachment and put a different attachment on it well sometimes from the twisting and trying to maneuver around it'll come off that's the only things that bother me to be honest with you so let's go ahead and get on to the pros all right so the pro one of the pros and the best probably pro is this is $195 on Amazon. When I bought it, it was like $219 or something like that on Amazon. So it went down some. $195. Now, you I've used this machine, which is like $70 something dollars. And I had another one that was like $150, I think, or $120, the bristle something. I had that one. This I could do the same job with this little machine than with this, that I do with this one. But the thing is, if you're gonna buy, I think a, a bristle, I, put, I, I wrote it down here. So this is $195, the Aqua Pro is $400, and the bristle one night, the bristle Pro Heat or whatever is $119. You might as well save the extra money and get you this. And I'll, t I'll tell you why. The length of the hose is better. With this and, and the other little machine that I had, you'll see some in some of the earlier videos, you have to hold this to do the top of the seat, to do pretty much the whole damn seat, you have to hold that in one hand. To You have to hold that machine in one hand and then extract in the other hand. And it gets it gets annoying and it slows you down. Um, another thing is that I, that I love is that this has an eight gallon tank. Most, the small ones that you can get like for like the pet to pet cleanup, they don't have a big tank. So you're gonna spend a lot of time dumping and refilling dumping and refilling dumping and refilling you're gonna waste a lot of time this knocked off a lot of time having because i don't have to dump and refill as often i barely have to uh refill sometimes so when i when we started that detail we was at a gallon and when we ended it we was we are at half a gallon so we only use half a gallon of solution on the seats so if i would have did the carpets i probably would have did about a gallon and a half which really isn't that bad. Um, another thing I like, even though there's some things I don't like about this remote, I like the fact that it does have one because I could turn it, I could turn the suction and all that stuff off uh, and I can have this machine on the other side or something and and I can, I can turn everything on and off from right here. I don't have to walk to the actual machine to turn it on and off. As long as this is on, then, I, then the remote will work. And then you have you have the suction and the detergent mode on the machine as well. Um, another thing I like is it's easy to set up. You put the hose in, you put the water hose in, and you're ready to go. As long as you keep you keep this stuff together. I used to take it apart. I don't take it apart anymore. I keep it all together. Another, another thing I like is the suction. So this vacuum, you can use this as a shampoo machine or you can use it as a vacuum. You can use it as either or. It comes with a bunch of attachments. Um, I don't know what I did with any of the att other attachments because all I use it for is the shampoo machine and I have a vacuum. But you can put a filter on it for a vacuum and everything. So this one is actually more powerful than the actual vacuum that I have. This is, I think, a six horsepower um, on this vacuum. The other one's like a 4.5 or something like that. So the suction, the suction is pretty badass for the price. Compared to something like this or the bristle, it also sometimes, sometimes the suction is good enough to where it kind of leaves the seat dry. Um, or 
not like completely dry, but it's not as wet as if I was using this thing right here. So that's one thing that I really like about it. Um, then another thing is it doesn't use as much power. Um, if you get one that has heat, I'm pretty sure you gotta have a generator that can power that. It's probably, the thing that heats it up is probably 1200, 1500 watts. So you gotta have a pretty decent sized generator to power that. Um, this one is great for beginners. Uh, you can, I powered it on the, I powered it on the little small generator that I had. And the only thing was you had to turn the detergent mode on and then the vacuum. And if you turn the, the water off, then you couldn't turn it back on. You had to restart. But other than that, now that I have the new generator, it works a whole lot better with that one. Uh, it also has a long plug on it. So this one also has a long plug on it. As you can see, this is for the detergent but the plug is pretty long so if you there's been times like a couple of times where i forgot my extension card and i didn't want to have to keep tugging around the dang um generator and i just unwind this card all the way and you good you good to go i don't know how long the card is but it is very 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 long so that's the things that i like that's the pros and cons that's just my opinion is it worth the money? Yes, $195. If you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay like $100 for the best, little, the little small ones or whatever that I had. I paid like over $100 for it. I don't know why, I think I paid $150 for it. Versus $195, you're gonna make your money back. If you're charging right, you're gonna make your money back off of the first detail. You'd be good, trust me. $195, it, you, don't, you don't have to worry about refilling. You don't have to worry about dumping as often. You just, for that price and what you get with it, I just feel like there's not that much out there that can beat it for the price that you're getting it for. There are some that are better, way better, but it's just hard to beat that for that price for it. So this is a great entry level extract. And I would recommend anybody to go ahead and try it out. You can kind of get through all the cons of it. Other than that, I mean, you, you, you It'll make your life a whole lot easier. I'm telling y'all. It, it made me, it made things way easier for me. And I moved a whole lot faster. And I was a little bit more, not a little bit more. I was way more efficient when it came to shampooing. Because I didn't have to keep dumping. I didn't have to keep refilling. I didn't have to hold it whenever I was doing the seat. I just put it out there, bring the hose in, and I'm good. I didn't have to keep moving the generator if I forgot the, the, uh, the extension card. It was just a lot that it helped with. So... I hope this video helps somebody and I hope y'all have a have a good day and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.